All right, let's move to the other definitions, double checking your answers here. So after we talked about consumers, and there's three types, or herbivores, omnivores, and carnivores, you were asked, what is the definition of a primary consumer? Think about primary school, okay? That's your elementary, your early years. When we talk about primary consumers in the food chain, that is an animal that feeds on plants. It is the first consumer, not, an, not a producer, not a plant. It's the first consumer. In a food chain, it has to be an herbivore. Okay, so primary means first. In a food chain, it is the animal that feeds on plants, and it will always be an herbivore. So it's the first consumer in a food chain, an animal that feeds only on plants. Consume means to take in or to eat. Okay, so common sense, what's a secondary consumer? When we talk about it in the food chain world, okay, it's the second consumer in the food chain. If the first consumer was an herbivore, okay, then our secondary consumer is going to be a carnivore that feeds upon herbivores. Because who's going to eat the herbivore in that food chain, right? An herbivore is an animal, so it has to be a carnivore eating that herbivore. Okay, so primary consumer, first consumer has to be an herbivore. Secondary consumer means it's the second person in the food chain. Okay, second consumer in the food chain. And it will be a carnivore eating that herbivore. This word means third. It is pronounced tertiary. Tertiary. A tertiary consumer is a carnivore at the topmost level in a food chain that feeds on other carnivores. An animal that feeds only on those secondary consumers. It's the top of the top of the food chain, okay? Primary means first, secondary means second, tertiary means it's the third consumer. Does not mean that is the third um, organism in a food chain because the first organism in a food chain will be that producer. It means it's the third consumer in the food chain, okay? So you can even pause the video. Please make sure those vocabulary words are defined accurately. And then you had two more questions that you should have gotten from the video. But if we check our answers, the one asks what a, what the sun does to help producers in the um, in a food chain. The sun helps producers in that process of photosynthesis. That sun's energy is absolutely needed for those producers to drive that food chain. Without the sun, those producers wouldn't make their food, and then we wouldn't be able to have food chains. And then eventually, kind of like a domino effect, the animals would be affected. And the last question, why do we need those decomposers in a food chain? I know we kind of think, oh, rotting, they eat rotten, you know, animals and bacteria, but we need those decomposers. Without them, that ecosystem would be full of dead leaves dead animals and insects. They would pile up everywhere, ladies and gents. So we need decomposers to eat those rotting um, leaves, animals, and insects. So hopefully you got those answers right. It's very important as we continue talking about food chains and food webs.